Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 mad science experiments that you can do at home. Number 10. Make your own miniature Tesla coil Tesla himself has basically become an internet celebrity, partly because of a Tesla revival movement, but also because the internet tends to appreciate a good showman. The inventor of the Tesla coil knew what he had created, and used it to constantly wow crowds to help increase his funding. You can make your own smaller version to wow your friends and wow yourself. Using a capacitor, a small light bulb, some wire, and a few other parts, you will be showing everyone what a science genius you are in no time. You can check out the video in the description for a full tutorial. Number 9. Make a sweet potato gun for cheap Potato guns are a somewhat controversial project. For those who aren't aware, a potato gun doesn't shoot whole potatoes, just little chunks from them. They are hardly truly dangerous for the most part, but some people have abused this childhood weapon and gotten it banned in certain localities. However, the truth is that both when building them or trying to use them, the dangers generally come when trying to build an incredibly large pneumatic potato gun. This is unnecessarily dangerous, especially for what should just be a fun project. In the video we're showing here, there's a link to the full version in the description. This is a tutorial showing people how to build a small potato gun using an empty spray bottle and a few other fairly common household items. Number 8. Hack a Nerf Gun to Make It Way More Awesome most of us remember Nerf guns from our childhoods. They were incredibly cool, decked out in bright colors that excited children of that time period, and often had all kinds of cool features. Some could shoot in multiple directions, some had secret hidden attachments, and so on. They were the epitome of cool. However, the one thing we all wished was that they shot a bit farther and harder. It's not like they would hurt if they hit harder. They were soft foam and rubber designed to be absurdly safe. However, the manufacturers made super sure that the guns would be incredibly lawsuit and fun safe and kept the pressure on them quite low. Some have found, with some tinkering though, that the pressure can actually be increased. In the video we're showing here, again, a link to the full version is in the description below. A Nerf gun modder takes his gun apart and shows you how to remove the installed inhibitor device that keeps it from shooting as far as it truly has the potential to. With just a little work, you can unleash the true power of the Nerf. Number 7. Build your own drone for whatever fun purposes you wish When most people think of drones, they think of gigantic, robot-controlled airplanes with bombs that shoot enemies in the Middle East. However, drones are becoming increasingly common both commercially and as a hobby, and most of them are quite small. The average hobby drone involves a small body with some parts salvaged from old fans, enough electronic equipment to control it remotely, and usually a mounted camera as well. In the video we're showing here, as well as linking to below, you can see a full tutorial that many hobbyists have found useful. While it takes a little bit of work, the parts are fairly easy to acquire and the build is within reach for someone without much experience. Alternatively, if you're feeling really cheap, perhaps you could just try strapping a GoPro onto an RC helicopter. Number 6. Construct your own theremin at home The theremin is pretty much the musical instrument for mad scientists, and they must have if you want to have both the coolest and nerdiest way to make music possible. For those who aren't familiar with them, a theremin is an instrument where you essentially move your hands through a magnetic field to make otherworldly sounding notes. There are not many people who can play a theremin well, but those who do provide some amazingly haunting sounding melodies. And now you can too, without paying huge amounts to buy a large sized theremin you may never fully take advantage of. With the help of a YouTube tutorial linked to in the description below, you will be well on your way to making your own theremin. An amplifier and a power supply are going to be some of the biggest ticket supplies you will need, and even those can be acquired for fairly cheap if you aren't trying to be picky about sound quality. Number 5. Make your remote-controlled robot out of cheap materials Pretty much everyone wants their own robot, especially those who want to impress their friends or their enemies with their knowledge of insane science. While a truly autonomous robot isn't that practical and requires extremely complex programming, a remote-controlled minion can still be very impressive and requires much less effort. In the video we're showing here, link in the description below, you can see a tutorial on how to build a remote-controlled robot that can even walk on uneven paths. This robot was built with incredibly cheap and easy-to-use parts such as styrofoam, glue, small pieces of crafting wood, and a small motor and battery. Most of it is incredibly easy to acquire and safe to work with. Using the same basic principles, you could easily modify the look a bit to make it feel like your own personal robot minion. Number 4. Make your own plasma at home and impress your friends if you've ever seen a plasma globe, you have probably wanted to own one at least as a passing thought, and many of you probably have splurged on one at one point or another. Plasma globes are extremely cool, especially the way you can move your fingers across the globe to make it dance around inside. 
For those of you who love science projects, making your own plasma globe is actually quite easy, although it won't be quite as big or impressive as the commercial ones. In the video here, as well as the full video linked to in the description, the parts you will need are minimal – a spark coil, a spring, an incandescent light bulb, and a capacitor. You will also need electrical tape, and you will want to read up first on safety precautions for working on electricity if you aren't already familiar, to ensure that you can stay properly grounded, just in case. Number 3. Make your own solar-powered radio using recycled materials For those of you who've gone camping for a while, you may have brought along a solar-powered radio. They can be incredibly useful if the power goes out, and they often have light bulbs built into them so you can see in an emergency as well. However, if you like to tinker, you can also take your own old radio, then salvage a solar panel from something else, and put together your own solar-powered radio. In the video here, you can see an example of how the project can be completed. However, keep in mind that you really don't need to buy your own solar panel from a manufacturer, which can be expensive. There are many different easy-to-acquire objects that you could salvage solar panels from, and if you are feeling really adventurous, you could always make your own solar panels. Number 2. You can build a Segway at home for a fraction of the price Many people are familiar with the Segway, a device that was incredibly popular about a decade ago. For those of the latest generation, a Segway is sort of like those recent hoverboards – you know, the ones that don't hover – except that it has a giant handle on it to make standing long-term easier. The Segway goes for an asking price of several thousand dollars, and while the recent hoverboards are fairly cheap, they have been known to be fire hazards and generally made as toys for smaller people and aren't that high quality. Using the video tutorial in the description below, you can build your own full Segway with all the power of a real one for a fraction of the price, just a few hundred dollars. You can learn and get practice in several new skills, and the project is designed to be approachable even if you don't have prior experience in any of them. If you want a hoverboard, you can just leave off the handle and feel safer knowing yours is probably less likely to catch on fire abruptly. Number 1. You can do all kinds of fun experiments with non-Newtonian fluids Making a non-Newtonian fluid is really easy to do at home. It's perfectly safe and it's incredibly fun to play with. Non-Newtonian fluids are fluids that act differently under stress and not just due to changes in temperature. One example of this is ketchup, which acts like a solid in the bottle when upside down until you apply force to change its viscosity. For those who want to experiment with the properties, the best way is to use a mixture of two parts cornstarch to one part water. Experimenting with it will show very strange results. When hit, it will act like a solid in that particular spot, even when the rest will ripple. If you pick it up and apply force, you can form it into a ball, but if you release the force, it will turn back into a liquid and drip through your fingers. With a large enough pool of it, you can basically walk across it, and when it is put on top of speakers, it moves around like a strange alien being dancing to the music. So, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Maybe you got some inspiration for some science projects to try at home. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Leave us a comment, uh, let us know what you think. Maybe let us know about other science experiments that you personally know of that we didn't include in this video. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.